Okay, here we are. We're back with more Pokemon Diamond. Um, we're going to be headed towards Eterna City. Um, so we're just going to make our way through this route. If you slather sweet honey on a sweet-smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted by that sweet scent. That was a move. Sweet scent? In like Gen 2? How about a quick battle before I leave for Eterna Forest? <clears throat> yeah, so we'll have a bunch of battles to do. The next gym is going to be super easy because I think it's like a grass type gym. So, with our fire type, it should be really easy. But we got to get through these routes first. Yeah. Which I should probably put my, um, my fire type up front. Charm. That really dampered my spirits. Yep. Is that a joke because I used a water type Pokemon? I don't know. Dampened? Dampered? Yeah, let's put Charm up front. Let Charm get some experience before we move on to the grass type gym. Oh, that's fun music. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Ah, here goes. <coughs> Ugh. That voice hurt my throat a little bit. Hiker Daniel. Okay. Yeah, let's fight some rock types. Mock Punch. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but it's neutral. That's right. Because <clears throat> now Charmp is also fighting type. -na 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 -na. Yeah, I don't expect any evolutions or new Pokemon in this episode, so... That's, that's something we don't need to be worried about, or that I don't need to be worried about for editing-wise. So, man, my, my mic keeps getting lower and lower. It's because of how my stand is. My stand is kind of falling apart, but that's okay. Oh, electricity's power was weakened because I'm totally going to use electric-type attacks in this battle. It's been all rock and ground Pokemon so far. What else you got? A chop? Okay, I'll switch. Um, let's bring Wingly out. Yeah, I should be able to play through the rest of it just like this, with just like switching him in and out whenever they need to. Haha. -ha. Wingly has Intimidate. I'll use Pluck just in case they have an item. Heck yeah. One hit. Bidoof? Okay, I'll go back to Charmp. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> I get why I wasn't one-hitting the rock types, because their defense is really high, and most fighting type moves are physical, but it's all good. Alright, let's get this. Oh, it's an X attack. Okay. I've never really used battle items all that much. Let's go battle this person. I love Pokemon that so smell sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this. Showing me your Pokemon so I can smell them? That's a little weird. Aroma Lady Elizabeth. Badoo. Okay. Super easy. Especially because Charmp learned Flame Wheel. Yeah. 
Learned Flame Wheel while I was leveling him up, which is a physical type fire attack and does more than Ember, so maybe one hit? Yeah. And that'll be good against the next gym, that Flame Wheel. So I'm planning to get to the next gym by the next episode. Did you understand what I meant? Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? Sure. Wasn't necessarily a flower yet. Let's go this way. And then if I need to go back around and get items or other trainers. It's a long way between Floroma and Eterna City, so let's battle. It's not that long. I mean, I've got a forest thing to go through, but it's super easy. Camper Zachary. Oh, it's he's got a Geodude. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably higher level than the other ones. Because they really lower the levels on Pokemon when they have multiple Pokemon, but yeah. Still only a two-hitter. Yeah, I'm not too worried about saving health or anything, because you'll see when we get to the forest, there's like a thing that it does. It like teams us up with somebody who heals us between every battle. Level up. Sweet. Nice. Our stats are looking really good. Wah wah wah! I'm out of Pokemon that can go! Yeah, that's what you get for only training one. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go around. So there's items and... I don't know if that's another trainer, but it's... Just somebody we can talk to, see if they give us anything. Buizel. The first time I ever played through this, I had a Buizel. It was a good water type, but I think Shellos is going to work out better for us in the long run. Against, like, electric types, it's going to be great, because when it evolves, it gets ground typing. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Oh, I know all too well, because I've been training around here for a while. <laughs> it took a long time to get everybody to level 19. Okay, so I'm not going to... well... Yeah, I'm not gonna switch out. Like, if if it has an if she has another electric type, I might switch out. I don't want to take the chance of her randomly knowing an electric type move, because Shellos is still just water type. Okay, I will switch now because I have ground type moves with Shellos. I don't know what I should call Shellos. I have time to think about it because I don't even know where the name raider comes in. Mud Bomb. Oh, but it's got Spark. Mm, this is gonna hurt. Oh, not a whole lot. Okay. Oh, but I missed. That's the only thing with the ground type moves that I have right now is most of them Like, they both don't have very high accuracy. Oh, come on. Alright, I can try one more time before I'm gonna have to... Oh, come on. I can't hit anything. Oh, and I only have potions and... berries. I should have bought some super potions. It's going to lower my attack, which is fine, because even though it's ground-type moves, they're still um, they're special ground-type moves. Because in this generation, they added the special physical split to where some moves are physical and some moves are special. But it doesn't depend on their type now, it just depends on their... Um, it just depends on the move. Each move is different. Okay. Just gonna keep lowering my attack, even though none of my attacks are physical. That's good, I guess. Three hundred and seven. That's a good amount of experience there. I'm shocked. How did I lose? All right. Got some berries up here. Which I can use berries for, like, 
status effects and stuff. <clears throat> so that'll be good. Oh, a Pokeball. Okay. We'll hop over here. Keep on moving up. Of all places possible, I've lost my way here. Hiker Nicholas. Onyx. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Onyx. This has no stats whatsoever. Like, I don't know what Onyx's, like, main stat is. I don't know that it has one. It just really has bad stats in general. But they give a lot of experience. Having lost his way, the trainer lost the battle too. What are you, narrating your life? That's, that's a little weird. Let's get this. Ooh, a repel. I might use those later. Oh, so I'm not trained to hold back. The music was pretty darn cool. Hmm. Do I want to switch or do I want to... I'll switch. Why not? Because I just got to make my Pokemon last till I get to the forest, and then once I get to the forest, I'll be good. <clears throat> Aha, lower your attack. Ooh, focus energy. Alright, doesn't matter, because I'm just going to pluck you to death. Haha. <laughs> I, I can see you're in a different class. Sure am. I'm the I'm the protagonist. Of course I'm in a different class. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Play a little what? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Karina. Ooh, Piplup. Okay. I'm definitely switching out for that. But... My Zeppi has an electric type move now. So that's good. Finally. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Use Peck. 2 HP. Yeah, it's got Spark now. So I can actually use Zeppi against water type trainers. Mm hmm. And it got a physical electric type move, which is what Zeppi needs. Oh, boo, how insulting! Well, you only have one Pokemon. Granted, it's a starter, which I guess is good, but. Yeah, Super Potion. More of those, please. You seem to be tired. Rest a while? Oh, okay. I guess there's a little rest house here. Think you can get through a turtle forest by yourself? Well, I won't have to. Are you? Many poison po type Pokemon make a turtle forest their home, but I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or go back? There's a heal house right there. Oh, that's I need cut for that, <clears throat> which I can't use yet. But I think after this next gym, I should be able to. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Lando. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Lando, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there are a sinister group called, of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? <clears throat> I don't actually get a choice. 
I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Yeah, so after every battle, she heals my Pokemon. This Pokemon are poisoned and can't battle. So I may fight random battles in here. Um, just to get the experience. Yeah, because we end up fighting two of them, so you get a lot- You can get a lot of experience in here. Um, and you get healed. Your HP and power points get healed between every battle. So you can get a lot of experience very, very quickly in here with Cheryl. Oh, but that's not good. I mean, it'll be healed. But yeah, that's going to be 232 experience. Fire's power was weakened. Okay. I still think I can probably one-shot it. But who knows? Maybe that did enough to... See, and that makes sense. Giving a Badoo water sport. But, like, giving a... A Geodude mud sport? Like, why? Yep. There's another level up. that rock? The rock is covered in moss. It feels pleasantly cool. Okay. Baneeries. Heck yeah. <coughs> it's a good experience, too. And yeah. You knocked it down a little bit for me. This way. There's a bunch of double battles in here. I'm gonna run from from a lot of these. Cause I don't want Charmp to get too far ahead of everybody else. Yeah, see this'll be a double battle. What's cool you might ask? No? I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon! We're just out on a power walk. Okay. So it's an aroma lady. Oh no, just a lass. Okay. Wormple and Pachiri Sue. Okay. Well, let's take out the Wormple first, I guess. And her chancy can work on the Pachiri Sue until we're ready to help. Kaboom. Yeah, it's got spark, so I don't want to switch in Shellos. Hmm. Chansey is not very good against physical attacks either. I wish there was a place that I could farm Chanseys, but. That's asking too much from a Pokemon game, because they give too much experience. This'll get lots of experience. The Beautifly. Because it's a third evolution. 448. Yep. Ooh, okay. So Chansey can heal itself. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, okay.
Yeah, this is good for charm. But then we might not use charm for a while because it'll be ahead of everybody. As long as it doesn't crit, it'll be fine. Yeah, we're healing more than, than it can do damage. I'll flame wheel it, and even if I get paralyzed, I'm gonna heal it anyway. Oh, now you're starting to hit me, because now I'm focused on you. Oh, there we go. I knew it was gonna happen. Okay, just keep healing yourself. That's fine. But if I mock punch it, I should still be able to go first. Yep. And that should take it out. Yep. Cool. Dang. Alright. We're leveling up quick here. Bugs me when people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. Oh, you! Alright, we got an item up here. Ooh, Paralyze Heal. Okay. Yep, here we go. Some more. I see it! I see it! I see you going down in defeat. When a trainer and a Pokemon bond is one, a wondrous power is born. Two psychics, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but they each only have one Abra. Okay. Well, that'll be easy. I can keep Charmp out, because... Abras are really... have really bad physical defense. And, like, my fighting moves won't do much to it, but... Flame Wheel will definitely take them both out. <clears throat> Heck, Egg Bomb could probably even take one out. Oh, Hidden Power. See, Hidden Power has like a random typing. That was... Yeah, super effective, but it's... It's special, it's not physical, so... Yeah, see, even Egg Bomb does quite a bit to it. I could probably scratch it and it would go down, but... Flame Wheel works just as well, and we get healed every battle, so... Not worried about it. It is I that has gone down in defeat. Hmm. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, another item down there. I don't need to do the wild battles. I'm already leveling up enough as it is. I'm gonna be ready for the... for the gym as soon as we get out of here. Great ball. Okay. Here comes the swarm. My senses tingle. I've spotted a rare Pokemon. Yes, you have. But I'm going to take you out. Philip and Donald. Ooh, Burmy. I'm going to take out the Burmy first. Because Burmy can use like protect and stuff and I just don't want to deal with that. So just take it out before it can do anything. And the Wurmple's only level 9 so it's not going to do much anyway. Ooh, tackle. So scared. Cricketune. Oh, that's the evolution of Cricketot. Let's take that out. Kaboom. Dun 
<laughs> Another level up. Yay, your egg bomb worked. <laughs> One HP. <clears throat> yeah, there's going to be one more Pokemon, but it's the other trainer's Pokemon, so... That's why another one didn't get sent out. But there was no target. Oh, there's two more. Ooh, Dustox will get a lot of experience. It's like that Beautifly earlier. Should be in like the 400s. Crit. Crit and super effective. Eight times damage. Oh, Cascoon. Okay. Oh, so those two trainers had both evolution lines of Wurmple. Because <clears throat> Wurmple can evolve a couple different ways. I don't know if it's based on male or female or based on its stats or what. What are you, a Yoshi? I wanna... I wanna go up here to see if there's items. There's gonna be lots of wild Pokemon. I mean, I would come back here to train. Like, if I was normally playing this game, I would train right now. But I'm not going to take all that time to do it right now. Okay, so it just looped around and came back up here anyway. A strange presence has been felt. It is an emanating from you. This force is strange, you know. It seems to fill me with energy. More Abras? Is that what we're doing? More Abras? Cody and Rochelle. Meditite and Psyduck. Ooh. Okay. So, Psyduck should be just water. So I can probably scratch it. I'll flame wheel Meditite, hopefully take it out. <clears throat> okay, cool. And then Psyduck, I'll have to... I can probably use Mach Punch on it and be fine. And that Egg Bomb hit, so that'll help. Uh, but not much. Uh, yep, saw that coming. Good. Didn't confuse me or anything. But Mach Punch should be neutral. Yeah. You can tell by the hit sound when it hits whether it's neutral or super effective or not. Uh oh, be one with me, my Meditate. Your victory, there's nothing strange about it. And then... This is the loop around where we came from. There's an item right there. Then I think we just go straight up to the top. Ocean. Sweet. Not that I need anything like that right now. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got something like lodged in my throat. Run! Yeah, I just go straight up to the exit. There might be a Team Galactic battle. But I don't know. Because she was all worried about Team Galactic when we came in here. Hmm. 
Oh, I got more honey. Yep, no more trainers down there. Okay. Yep, we're out. <clears throat> oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Alright, now we're on the other side of Route 205. There's the same Pokemon here. Like, there's nothing new to fight or catch here. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to get these. Then I'll fight these trainers down here. Yeah, because there's a bunch of fishermen on this little thing. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button because it's opposite from other RPGs. So we'll put Zeppi up front. Let Zeppi get a couple level ups from all these fishermen. I think one of these is going to be a Magikarp Fisherman. Yep. The one with... Well, he's only got three Magikarps, but there's always... There's always a Magikarp trainer that has only Magikarps. There might even be one on this bridge that has six of them. So there's one at level 10. And they don't give that much experience either, which kind of sucks. 42 for level 10. Oh, Goldeen. Okay, so this isn't the Magikarp trainer. But we can just keep using Spark. Nice. There's a bunch. Another magic heart. Okay. Same level. Yep. Losing has my emotions all knotted up. Alright, three more. Nothing biting. I could use a break, I suppose. Yeah, this is the six magic carps guy. I just hope they're not all level 10. Because at least in, I think it was Generation 2, there was one that had one that was like, one was level 5, one was level 10, and then one was level 15. And I think at 15 it learns Tackle. In Generation 1 it learned Tackle at level 10, so you can train it better. But in the newer generations they changed it. Yeah, these are all probably going to be level 10. That's alright. Dun, dun. This battle's done. Because, <laughs> like, so for six of them, you get like 252 experience. That's not. Like, I got more than that from one Pokemon from the other guy. But at least we know the other battles will go quickly, like, this is just fighting the same one over and over to get little to no experience. I'm not even going to level up from this, I don't think. Doom, 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 doom. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Music's so bouncy. Alright, two more. Let's go. Just keep sparking over and over and over. You know, thinking about it, I should probably be biting these. I'm gonna bite it. Because, like, that way, just depending on how many Pokemon the next two trainers have, like, I have enough sparks. Like, yeah, see, I could have been biting them this whole time and still one-shotting them and saved my sparks, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh well, I should have been a little more serious about this. Yeah, don't just fill yourself up with magic harps. I landed myself a feisty trainer, let's go! Goldine, Goldine! Goldine, Goldine! Now Zeppi's gonna level up. But it may not one shot it. We'll see. Oh no, it did. Okay. I think Goldina has good special defense, is what it is. I let a big wind slip away. Did you? I don't think there's much you could have done about that. To sit back and fish casually, it's a grown-up's hobby. Oh, he's not even a trainer. Okay. Cool. Alright, now we're in Eterna City. So I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna rest up and save. And then I'm gonna go around and... Well, no. I'll wait. Until next episode. So we'll heal up, we'll go out here, and we'll save. Alright, so that'll be it for this one. It took us forever to get through Eterna Forest, but that's okay. We can just keep doing this section by section by section, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Alright, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that right up here. And um, if you want to watch a random video from the channel, you can do that right up here. And then I'll put a link to my Discord down at the bottom here. So thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!